amigos. Today we're going to show a chemical reaction called the pinwheel experimente. milk into this bowl. Okay, the next step is to drop food coloring into different spots in the milk, but you need to use four, four different colors. The next step is you'll take your dish detergent and your Q-tip and you're going to place some of the um, dish Dawn soap onto the Q-tip. Here's what the reaction would look like if it was placed into a smaller bowl. So our next idea was to try this with water and see if it would still work. So we're going to take the dish soap and put it in with the water and the food coloring. The difference between the milk and the water is that the milk is more dense so it keeps the food coloring from spreading before the dish soap is added. It doesn't matter what you use to make the reaction visible. We used food coloring before and now we're going to use the pepper. So we're going to sprinkle some pepper into the water and then drop some soap in it. Ta-da! This experiment works really well if you put the food coloring drops closer together. Because the drops are so closer together, the color is a lot more easily seen. Milk is mostly water, but it also contains vitamins, minerals, proteins, and tiny droplets of fat suspended in the solution. Fats and proteins are sensitive to changes in the surrounding solution. Hey Nico, did you know when you add soap, the weak chemical bonds that hold the proteins in the solution are altered and it becomes a free-for-all? The molecules are bumped and shoved everywhere, providing an easy way to observe all the invisible activity. Woo! At the same time, soap molecules combine to form a micelle, or a cluster of soap molecules. These micelles distribute the fat in the milk, this rapidly mixing fat and soap, causing swirling and churning where a micelle meets a fat droplet. When the micelles and fat droplets have dispersed throughout the milk, the motion stops, but not until after you've enjoyed the show. There's another reason why the colors are slow the way they do. Since milk is mostly water, it has surface tension like water. The drops of food coloring floating on the surface tend to stay put. Liquid soap wrecks the surface tension by breaking the cohesive bonds between water molecules, and allowing the colors to zing through the milk. 
For more information, go to stevespanglerscience.com.